Hello everybody and welcome to another RT2629 restoration video. Now if you watched the last episode, you'd have seen us stripping out three quarters of the lower deck of this bus just to get to one cross member. Now a lot of you have been asking why were we going to all that effort? Well, if you watch this video, you'll find out why. So we're back on the RT today and what we've done is we've put this support beam in propped up by these two lumps of wood and that's supporting both sides of the bus because we're going to remove this cross member. Now this is rotten at the ends, um, we've taken a lot of stuff out of the way already um, so me and Dave have just got to disconnect the last few bits and then hopefully it will come out so we can make a new one. That is a separate piece. Yeah, yeah. see, you see so the that, 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 that is part of this. Yeah. Because the ones so rotten it just seems to pull in from Got that off there. It doesn't go along there, does it? No, no, it stops. You don't need to be careful with anything on the beam because it's coming up. Well this has been replaced this month. But I'm changing them because they're rotten. Yeah. One down, one to go. What are we going to do if this one doesn't hold this bus up? It can't, it can't really do anything else. It shouldn't drop anyway. Most people don't bother. It's just to, just in case things are rotten. Right. Because that, everything else, the upstairs is holding it up, technically. Yeah. yeah. It's just you have taken a lot of structure out of it. Yeah. Hello. Tits off in here. You're replacing these? Uh, those I probably won't because the, the wood's alright. I'll clean them up and touch the old thing. There's a limit to how far you go, otherwise, you're making a new bus, eh? Yeah. You might as well build an RT from a drawing. Yeah. I mean, they're, never, they're not rotten now and they're never going to rot away, are they? No. If it's something like this that's banned. And in my lifetime, we'll end up collapsing, and yeah. it's worth doing, isn't it? But there's yeah. a point where you have to say, No, we're being silly now. Yeah. Some would say we're being silly doing this in the first place. Well. <laughs> Some people wouldn't bother changing this beat. No. They'd say, No, it'd be alright. The boss tank doesn't go anywhere. One is left handed, you see. We can drill those, drill those top ones in. These ones? No, the top screws. Yeah. So I don't need to worry about them too much. 
It's whether that goes under there. If that's the same as them. Yeah, we've got to take this off. That means that goes under there. Yeah. So if we grind them off, and then cut these little ones off, drill those out, and the only two things I'll need then are these under there. Yeah. But I think they're probably so rotten when we take it out, they'll snap. Yeah. If you, look, if you look around this side, you only need to take that one out because this plate here is onto this plate and it's only those two holding that one on. This is separate. Oh, no, so it's just that, that one and that one. Yeah, so if you, if you punch that one through, it'll come off. You don't need to worry about these ones. It's that one there. See what I mean? Yeah. No, you're right. So... It's this one here. I'll try a bit of punch. Oh, you, oh that's better. Uh -oh. That's all loose now. Stuck under where? It's just stuck under this. Just under that. Oh, right. But it might come out that way because that end didn't stuck. Right, yeah, so slide it out at an angle. So we need to try and do the same over there, don't we? Punch those out, yep. Yeah. Get that end, make the new one of them up. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, clean all the chassis that we can then get to. Yeah. Set those cables off. Get that plate and that plate in. The Matt Davies and the Matt them for me. Um, and then we can fence all this like we did the fuel tank. Yeah. Sort the welding out there. New beam back in. And then start putting on the floor stuff back together. Yeah. So it won't take that long, it's just the process is a long yeah. thing, isn't it? That's just about out, I would say. Yeah. Your way. Uh, yeah, just slide it up to the top of the thing. You might be easy to take it out of the platform. Yeah. Okay, if you come in on the platform, because then we'll have the angle to get it out the end of the bus, won't we? If you rest it on there, and then if you go around that side, which side? This side, and take this end off me. Well, yeah, you, you go off the platform because I can reach over with that. Oh. That's it. Got it there? Yeah. So after lots of hard work and lots of dismantling, the beam is finally removed from the bus. Now as you can see, it's in pretty poor condition, so it definitely needs replacing. Now the first job was to make up the new wood sections, which are made from ash, that me and my dad made up. So we've done two sets of these, one set for my bus and one set for Lord Barrington's RT. 
So they're all ready to go. The next job is to split the beam up and uh, we can get on with making a replacement centre metal section that isn't uh, rotted away at the ends. So uh, time to start grinding and cutting. OK, here's a little footnote after what Tim has just said. Now, if you regularly see gleaming red or green RTs at rallies and at running days, here's something for you to think about. They may be gleaming and shiny on the outside, but underneath are their beams as rotten as this one. OK, this one is particularly bad. It's the rear beam. There's three of these on the bus. The rear ones always do rot because they're so close to the rear wheels. So how many buses at rallies and running days have beams in this condition that are still carrying 56 passengers? There's a lot of weight when an RT is fully laden and all that weight is being supported by these beams. So it's worth thinking about this. The bus might look gleaming and shiny on the outside, but underneath the beam could be rotten. And if it's rotten, there could be all sorts of problems there, especially if those RTs are still carrying passengers. So these bolts are all C solid, so the first job we're going to do is cut off all the bolts on this side and then we can flip it over and do the same again. I wonder if the person who put that on there is still alive. <laughs> Probably not. One rotten metal beam. So trim all those off. The little yeah. things. And the other side should pretty much fall off. Yeah. It's a bit thin in places. A bit like my hair. I bet that was the neater way it is, because it's there the same way around. That's the near side, which has got worse, hasn't it? Yeah. Probably because it runs in the, in the water curb. in the kerb. Yeah. It? Amazing what it does. <laughs> so there we go. After uh, a bit of banging and crashing and grinding, we've got the plate out the middle. Now, as you can see, it's gone very thin at the ends. So we definitely need to have a new one. I'm going to draw this up on CAD and have some new ones laser cut um, and then we'll keep this original one as a template to drill the holes through onto the new ones. So there you have it. Now you know why we went to all that effort stripping the lower deck just to get that beam out. As you've seen, it was rotten. It desperately needed replacing. Now a new one's going to be made and refitted back on the bus, but all of that is going to have to wait for another video. Remember, if you've enjoyed this episode, please hit the like, give us a thumbs up, and if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We try and bring you a new video every two weeks here on this channel. From me and the team, thanks for watching. The outtakes are on the way next, and until next time, bye-bye. Right, here's a little footnote as to what... What did I have to decide before? Right, here's a little footnote after what Tim has just said. Now you just walk straight through my light. So, after lots and lots of work and lots of dismantling, we... So, they're pre-made. So the next jump... <laughs> they were pre-made. Those ones are for Lord Barrington.